everyone this is tim from your six studios today in this video i'm going to show you how to test your stick drift on your dual sense edge controller so if you press the playstation button and then go on over to accessories we can go to our dual sense edge wireless controller here and go to controller setting and when we open this up we can go to custom profiles and just go to create a custom profile right here if you don't already have one or we can go to the default profile and just try to use that but if you go to fps right here uh, we can go to stick sensitivity slash dead zone. So this is a profile created for like first person shooters. But when we get to this screen, uh, we can just move our thumbstick around. So if we want to see the right one, this is the one usually with stick drift. Uh, you can see if I just move this slightly, uh, you can see if there's any kind of stick drift. So if I just leave it right here, I don't see really any stick drift. And you can adjust the dead zone too if you need this a little bit larger to go to like 1% and you won't get any drift on there. So very easy to just see that. Otherwise, you can do this in Call of Duty. So if you log into Call of Duty, press options, and then go over to settings. Uh, we can go on down to where it says the controller settings. And then we can switch this on over to the controller. And there should be an option under there specifically to check your dead zone. So let's log into war zone. And we can do this. So if you got like a, a regular controller, uh, you can do it under here. So uh, Warzone is a free game, so you can just download this. And then you can get this. So let's go on over to controller, scrolling down to the bottom. And there should be an option right here. Press square, turn this on. And then you can see the same thing under here. So this is a free to play game. You can download Warzone, Call of Duty, and then check it out. Hopefully this video did indeed help you guys out.